Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. Today we will go over NBA, NHL, college basketball from yesterday. Look ahead to tonight's games in each sport. We'll go over the Australian Open results from yesterday. And we will look ahead to what's to come tonight and into tomorrow morning. We have the... um. Farmers Insurance Open that we have to pick. Um, news and notes and best bet. We'll start the NBA. We'll go over last night's results and look ahead to a busy slate for tonight. Pacers over the Bulls, 116-110. Heat over the Celtics, 98-95. Knicks over the Cavs, 105-103. Nuggets over the Pelicans, 99-98. Wizards over the Mavericks, 127-126. Suns over the Hornets, 128-97. And the Clippers over the Lakers, 133 to 115. All right, large slate tonight, 7 o'clock. You have the Pacers at the Magic. Um, my projections for this game, Orlando 4.5, total 228 and 920. And we got 5.5 and, and 234. I like the under, especially the, the, uh, Tyrese Halliburton. On ESPN at 730, Nets, Sixers. I would say Mike Breen, Doris Burke, or Mike Breen and Jeff Van Gundy. Um, I want to look because this is a pretty big game. Um, so let's see here. Um, Dave Passion, Doris Burke. Um, Sixers eleven half total two twenty four and seven twenty. It's the projection. It's five and two twenty five and a half. I love Philly. I can't say how much I love Philly in this game. Love the Sixers, especially no Durant. Um, 8 o'clock, Wizards, Rockets. My line's Wizards, 2.5, total 226 and 17.20. And we got 3 and 231.5. I like the under, especially without Chris Stapps, Porzingis. Nuggets, Bucks. My line is the Nuggets by 2 and a quarter, total 227 or 227 and a quarter. Yes, the Nuggets I have favored in Milwaukee. And. Milwaukee's giving eight, total 232.5. Ooh, give me Denver. Unless if Jokic isn't playing. That line is way too high. I mean, come on. Um, Timberwolves, Pelicans. My line is New Orleans by three and a half, total 229 and four fifths. And it, it's two and a half and 229 and a half. Um, slight Pelicans. Hawks, Thunder. My line is. Hawks by two and three quarters, so two three one and nineteen twenty. It's and it is two and two thirty eight. I like the under here too. Ten o'clock, ESPN Grizzlies Warriors. On this game, it is Ryan Rugo and JJ Redick. Um, my line is Golden State by one half total two thirty two and a half, and it's three and a half and two forty four and a half. The total is way too high. Give me the under. Jazz Blazers, my line is Portland by five and three quarters, so two thirty and three tenths, and it is three and a half and two thirty nine under. Raptors, Kings, mine's Kings by four, total two thirty one, and it's three and two thirty eight under. And last but not least, ten thirty Spurs, Lakers, mine's Lakers fourteen, total two twenty or two thirty five and a quarter, and it's five and a half and two forty three. Oof. So, do I have a larger edge on the Lakers or the under? And the projection's this high because of the return of Anthony Davis. Um, so, seven and three quarters. And eight and a half. So, I'm going to lay the points with L.A. All right, now I'll move on to the NHL. We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to a smaller window for tonight. Red Wings over to Sharks 3-2 in overtime on a game winner by Andrew Kopp. Bruins over to Canadians 4-2. Kings over to Flyers 4-3 in overtime on a game winner by Kevin Fiala. Penguins over to Panthers 7-6 in overtime on a game winner by Chris Letang. Lightning over to Wild 4-2. Devils over to Golden Knights 3-2 in overtime on a game winner by Dougie Hamilton. Preds over to Jets, 2-1. Sabres over to Blues, 5-3. Ducks over to Coyotes, 5-2. Avs over to Caps, 3-2. And the Canucks over to Blackhawks, 5-2. So their first game over with uh, Rick Tasha gets a win. Um, five games 
Tonight, 7 o'clock on TNT, you have the Rangers and the Maple Leafs. Kenny Albert, Eddie Olchek, Keith Jones on the call. Um, Leafs are minus one sees four. Rangers plus 136. Over on their six. Overs minus 104. There's minus 118. Rangers plus one half is minus 92. Leafs minus one half is plus 154. I love the over six at minus 104. Isles sends. Um, sends minus 136. Isles plus 105. Over on their six. Minus 110 each way. Isles plus one half is minus 40. Sends minus one half is plus 190. I don't know why the Islanders are a dog at Ottawa. They shouldn't be giving the Islanders plus 105. 830, Hurricane Stars. Canes minus 111, Stars minus 110, over under 6. Overs plus, or I should say even money, there's minus 122. Canes minus 1F is plus 225. Dallas plus 1F is minus 290. So Carolina's a slight favorite at Dallas. Give me Dallas at home, minus 110. 930, TNT, Blue Jackets, Oilers. So Johnny Gaudreau against Connor McDavid. This would be Brendan Burke and Darren Pang. Um, Edmonton's minus 385. Columbus is 3 to 1. Over under 6 and a half. Over is minus 128. And there's plus 104. Columbus plus 2 and a half is minus 142. Edmonton minus 2 and a half is plus 116. So we got the 2 and a half here. For this game, I'm going to go with first period result Edmonton Oilers minus 106. And last but not least, the Canucks and the Kraken. Kraken minus 182. Canucks plus 150. Over under 6 and a half. Over is minus 122. Under is even money. Canucks plus 1F is minus 158. Kraken minus 1F is plus 126. For this one, I'm going to go with... First period result, Kraken plus 132. All right, now move on to college basketball. We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to tonight's slate, which is a little bit busier. All righty. Rutgers over Penn State, 65-45. Miami, number 20, Miami over Florida State, 86-63. East Carolina over Tulsa, 76-66. NC State over Notre Dame, 85-82. Georgetown over DePaul, 81-76. Illinois over Ohio State, 69-60. Arkansas over LSU, 60-40. Missouri over Ole Miss, 89-77. Davidson over LaSalle, 64-57. Toledo over Eastern Michigan, 84-79. Bowling Green over Central Michigan, 83-61. Akron over Miami of Ohio, 73-68. Buffalo over Ball State, 91-65. Ohio over Western Michigan, 88-76. Number 11, TCU over Oklahoma, 79-52. Northern Illinois over Kent State, 86-76. Missouri State over UIC, 63-59. Southern Illinois over Murray State, 68-64. Number 12, Iowa State beats number 5, Kansas State, 80-76. Number 10, Texas over Oklahoma State, 89-75. Number 24, Clemson over Georgia Tech, 72-51. Drake over Indiana State, 76-8. North Carolina over Syracuse, 72-68. Kentucky over Vanderbilt, 69-53. Boise over Fresno, 63-53. San Jose State over Air Force, 82-52. And UNLV over Wyoming, 86-72. All right, tonight's games, 6-30, Fox Sports 1. Game of the night, I'd say. Number 13, Xavier at number... 19, UConn. Um, great game for sure in the Big East. Um, so, um, my projection is UConn by a half total 151 and 320. It's a 6.5 and, and 153. I love Xavier getting the 6.5. Love it. Presbyterian and UNC Asheville. My line's Asheville 25, total 136 and two fits. And it is 8.5 and, and 129.5. And um, I'm going to lay the points with Asheville. That's way too low. Um, 7 o'clock, number 3, Houston at UCF. My line is Houston 10.5, total 132 and 11.20. And it is 9.5 and, and, and 127.5. And Over. SEC Network, number four, Tennessee, is hosting Georgia by lines. Tennessee by 15 and a half, total 132 and 19 20. It's, and it's 16 and a half and 135 and a half under. Stonehill, Hartford, by lines, Hartford, three and a half, total 137 and 9 tenths. And it is, let's see here. Stonehill, 7 half total, 132 and a half. Give me Hartford plus the points and plus 220 outright. 
ESPNU, West Virginia, Texas Tech Mines, Tech by 2, total 143 in 1920s, and it is Tech by 3 and a half, total 142 and a half. Um, so a slight edge on the over and a slight edge on West Virginia. The bigger edge is on the Mountaineers, so give me a slight lean to West Virginia. South Florida Temple. My line is Temple by 15 and 3 quarters, total 139 and a 10th. And we got five and a half and one thirty nine and a half. I know a lot of people are going to take USF because of the letdown narrative for Temple after upsetting Houston. Not so fast. I'm laying it with Temple. That's what my numbers say. Loyola Maryland, or I'm sorry, Lehigh Holy Cross. My line is Lehigh eleven total one thirty seven and nine tenths, and it is. Three and a half and one thirty-eight and a half. I'm gonna lay it with Lehigh. Loyola Merriman Lafayette. My line is Lafayette by a half total one thirty and eleven twentieths. And it is six and a half and one twenty one and a half over. Army American. My line is American two and a quarter total one thirty eight and the fifth. And we got three and a half and one thirty six and a half. Um slight lean to the over. Next up on the ACC network, Wake Pitt. Mine's Pitt one and a quarter total one forty five and three quarters, and we got two and a half and one forty eight and a half under. Vermont Binghamton. My line is Vermont two and a half total one thirty seven and eleven twentieths, and we got seven and a half and one thirty two and a half. Over. You must Lowell in Maine. My line is Lowell fourteen and three quarters, so one forty one and seven twentieths. And it's six and a half and one forty one and a half. Um I'm gonna lay the points with Lowell. UMBC and NJIT, my line is UMBC by eleven total one forty five and a tenth. And it is, let's see here, five and a half and 145 and a half. So I'm going to lay it with the UMBC. Albany, New Hampshire. My line is New Hampshire, eight and a half, total 136 and a half, and it is. Hmm. Where is that line? Oh, there it is. It has this game listed for five o'clock, which I don't think that's right. Six and a half and one thirty six and a half. Um, or 132.5. My bad. Um, I read that incorrectly. So I'm going to take the over. My projection is 136.5. Next is uh, Navy Bucknell. My line is Navy by 6, total 137 and 4 fifths. And we got 2.5 and, and 135.5. And um, I'm going to lay the points with Navy. Big 10 Network, Wisconsin, Maryland. My line is Maryland 2.5, total 131 and 9 tenths. And it is 4.5 and 124.5. And I'm going to take the over. Northwestern Nebraska on Fox Sports 2. My line is Northwestern by 4 and 3 quarters, total 131 and 3 fifths. And it is 2 and a half and 130 and a half. I'm going to lay the points with Northwestern. South Carolina, Florida on ESPN 2. My line is Florida by 13 and a quarter, total 137. And it is 15 and a half and 133 and a half. Over. St. Joe's George Washington. My George Washington by seven half total one forty five and seven tenths. And we got three and a half and one fifty one and a half under. Richmond UMass. My line is UMass by a half total one thirty seven and a fifth, and we got. 
Um, Richmond by a half, total 138 and a half. Um, this is tough. I'm going to say slight under. Lilla, Chicago, and Duquesne. Uh, my projection is Duquesne, four and three quarters, total 141 and four fifths. And we got. Let's see here, guys. Eight and a half and one thirty eight and a half. I'm going to take Loyola getting the points. George Mason and VCU Mounds VCU by eight and a quarter, so one thirty seven and two fifths. And it is eight and a half and one thirty six and a half. Slight over. Fordham Saint Bonaventure. My line is Bonaventure by a quarter, so one thirty six and a fifth. And we got. Three and a half and one thirty and a half. Over. Dayton, Rhode Island on CBS Sports Network. My line is Dayton by eleven and three quarters, so one thirty-two and seven twentieths. And we got nine and a half and one thirty and a half. I'm going to take Hmm. I'm going to lay the points with Dayton. USC Upstate and Gardner Webb. Mine's Gardner Webb by six and a half to the one fifth or one three five and three tenths. And it is eight and a half and one thirty one and a half. Um, over. Charleston Southern and Winthrop. My line is Winthrop by ten to the one forty eight. And it's four and a half and one forty five and a half. Over. I'm sorry, Winthrop, Winthrop. I don't know why I just said over. Campbell High Point, my line is high point three and a quarter to one forty three and a half, and it is um Campbell one and a half, total one forty three and a half. I don't think the right team's favorite. Give me high point plus one and a half and minus one oh two. The Citadel, Western Carolina. Mine's Western by 7 and a quarter, so on 41 and 11 twentieths. And it is um, 7 half and 138 and a half. Over. Wofford, Chattanooga. My line's Chattanooga by 5, total 144 and 13 twentieths. And we got. Um, one half and one forty three and a half. I'm gonna lay it with Chattanooga. VMI and UNC Greensboro. My line is Greensboro by a whopping twenty two and a quarter to one thirty seven and four fifths, and it is fifteen half and one thirty two and a half. I'm gonna lay the points. East Tennessee State Mercer lines Mercer one half to the one thirty five and nineteen twentieths. And it is four and a half and one thirty one and a half. I'm going to take the over. Samford Furman. My line is Furman three and a half, total 148 and four fifths. And we got four and a half and 150 and a half. Slight under. IUPUI and Purdue Fort Wayne. My line's Fort Wayne by 25 and 3 quarters, so 140 and 11 twentieths. And we got 18 half and 139 and a half. I'm going to lay the points. 730 Texas Rio Grande and Stephen F. Austin. Mine's Stephen F. Austin by 18, total 153 and a 20th. And we got 11 half and 154 and a half. I'm going to lay the points. 8 o'clock, Valpo, Northern Iowa. My line's uh, Northern Iowa, 13.5, total 137 and 4 fifths. And it's 7.5 and 137.5. I'm going to lay the points with Northern Iowa. Belmont, Evansville. Mine's Belmont by 20, total 141 and 7 twentieths. And it's 12.5 and 144.5. And and I'll lay the points. Illinois State, Bradley. Mine's Bradley by 18 and a quarter, total 132 and 3 fifths. And it is 15 and a half and 129 and a half. Um, over. 
Cal Baptist and Texas Arlington. My line is Baptist by 9.5, total 130. And it's 4.5 and 128.5. I'm going to lay the points. 8.30, Fox Sports 1, Butler at number 23, Providence. My line's Providence 14, total 141 and 4 fifths. And it's 10.5 and 139.5. And lay it with Providence. 9 o'clock on. The SEC Network, Mississippi State at number two, Alabama. Mine's Alabama by 17, total 138 and 320s. And we have 12 and a half and 141 and a half. I'm going to lay it with Bama. On ESPN2, we have Texas A&M at number 15, Auburn. Mine's Auburn, seven and a quarter, total 137 and nine tenths. And it's four and a half and 137 and a half. I'm going to lay the points with Auburn. ESPN U, Tulane, Wichita State. My line is Tulane by four and three quarters, so it's 42 and three quarters. And it's Wichita State by a half, total 146 and a half. I don't get why Wichita is a favorite here. That's ridiculous. Give me um, Tulane plus the half and minus 105 on the money line. Louisville and Boston College on the ACC network. My line is. Boston College by 10 and 3 quarters, so on 36 and 3 fifths. And it's 9 and a half and 132 and a half. I'm going to take the over. CBS Sports Network, St. John's Creighton. My line's Creighton 7 and a quarter, so on 46 and 4 fifths. And it's 10 and a half and 154 and a half. Under. Indiana, Minnesota on the Big Ten Network. My line is Indiana by 11 and a half, so on 38 and 2 fifths. And it's 9 and a half and 136 and a half. I'm going to. Lay the points with Indiana. 10 o'clock on the Pac-12 Network. Chicago State, Stanford. Well, in Stanford by 25 and 3 quarters. So, 137. And it's 17 and a half and 133 and a half. I'm going to lay the points with Stanford. And last but not least, 11 o'clock on the CBS Sports Network. Utah State, San Diego State. My line is San Diego State by 12 and a quarter. So, 145 and 13 twentieths. And it's six and a half and one forty six and a half. I'm going to lay the points with San Diego State. All right, now move on to tennis. Um, we'll go over the quarterfinals results from yesterday, and we'll look ahead. Um, to uh, the semifinal games or matches overnight for the women's. All right, we'll start with the men's. Um. So, quarterfinals. Tommy Paul over Ben Shelton in four sets. Three seeds to final sip Biasa Virgiri Lahetka in three sets. And the match of the tournament so far, four seed Novak Djokovic over five seed Andre Rublev in three sets. So we won't have semifinal action until tomorrow night. So we'll do it on tomorrow's podcast. All right, the women's quarterfinals. Um, from yesterday, five seed Arena Sablenka over Donna Vekic in two sets. Magda Lynette upsets 30 seed Carolina Pliskova in two sets. And 24 seed Victoria Azarenka upsets 3 seed Jessica Pagula in two sets. All right, overnight tonight, um, 3.30 a.m., 22 seed Elena Rybakina and 24 seed Victoria Azarenka. This is a great match. Um, I don't think a lot of people expected to see these two ladies in the semis, but here we are. Um, Rybakina is a minus 190 favorite as a rank is plus 162. Um, I'm going to go to set betting. I'm going to go Rybakina 2-1 at plus 260. And at 4.45 a.m. is Magda Lynette in 5 seed Arena Sablenka. Sablenka is minus rating. Lynette is 3-1 to one dog. Um, I'm going to go... Magda Lynette. No, just kidding. Um, that'd be crazy if I went with Magda Lynette here. Um, 
I'm going to actually do Magda Lynette game spread. Plus 4.5 and, and minus 112. I think Sablanka wins. I'm going to say Lynette covers the game spread. Plus 4.5 and, and minus 112. All right, now move on to soccer. We'll go over the results from yesterday and um, games of note, and it will go over any, everything going on today in top soccer. All right, the English Carabao Cup first leg yesterday, Newcastle over Southampton, 1 0. And then we have today at 3 o'clock, first leg, Nottingham Forest and Manchester United should be a really good match. Um, Man United's minus 180, Nottingham's plus 450, draws plus 270. For this game, I'm going to go over two and a half goals at minus 116. All right. Next, we will um, go over German Bundesliga from yesterday. Look ahead to today. Um, RP Leipzig over Schalke 6 1. Bayern over Cologne 1 1. Or I should say, that's a draw. Uh, Wolfsburg over Hertha 5 0. And Hoffenheim and Stuttgart 2-2 two, two draw. Five games today in German Bundesliga. 12-30 we have Mainz and Dortmund. Um, I'm just going to pull up the odds. Really quickly. Um, um, Dortmund's plus 125, Mainz is 2 to 1 as a dog, and the draw is plus 260. I'm going to go with Dortmund as a favorite at plus 125. 230, Leverkusen and Bochum. Um, Leverkusen's minus 250, Bochum's 550, draws 360. I'm going to go with under 2.5 goals at plus 124. Augsburg and Gladbach. Um, Uh, Gladblock's plus 120. Osberg's plus 210. Draws plus 250. We go with um, Gladblock at plus 120. Freeburg and Frankfurt. Uh, Freeburg's plus 145. Frankfurt's plus 180. Draws plus 230. I'm going to go... I'm actually going to go with Frankfurt on the road here at plus 180. They're playing well. Um, and last but not least, uh, Bremen and Union Berlin. Um... Bremen's plus 180, Union Berlin's plus 160, draws plus 210. I'm going to go with Union Berlin at plus 160 as a slight favorite on the road. And in the Dutch, um, we're going to go over two results, and then we have a big Dutch slate today. Um, Emmen over PSV, 1-0, and Sparta and RKC, Woolwich, 0-0 draw. All right, five games today in Dutch. 12.45, you have the Go-Ahead Eagles and the AZ Alkmaar. Um, so, Alkmaar is minus 120. The Go-Ahead Eagles are 3-1. to one. The draw is 250. I'm going to go under 2.5 goals at minus 106. Vitesse and FC 20. Fuente, minus 105. Fatesi's plus 270. Draws, plus 220. I'm going to go with um, FC20 as a road favorite at minus 105. 2 o'clock, Fortuna and Heron, Heron, Heron Veen. Um, Heron Veen's plus 110. Fortuna's 220. Draws, 220. I'm going to go with Heron Veen at plus 110. 3 o'clock, FC Utrecht and Excel Seer. Um, Utrecht is my, uh, minus 290. Excel is 6-1. Draws 390. Um, I'm going to go with the over 3.5 goals at plus 110. And Feyenoord and NEC. Feyenoord's minus 430. NEC's 950. Draws 440. I'm going to go with the under 2.5 goals at plus 122.
right? Copa del Rey today. Um, three o'clock. You have Barcelona and Real Sociedad. That is an amazing game. Heard of the Spanish Copa del Rey? Um, Barcelona's minus one ninety favorite. Sociedad's five to one. Draws plus two eighty. I'm gonna go with the draw plus two eighty. I think that's a good value. And at four o'clock, you have Osasuna and Sevilla. Um, Osasuna's plus one thirty five. Sevilla's plus two ten. Draws plus one ninety. Um. I'm going to go with Sevilla, believe it or not, as a dog at plus 210. They're, I think that's good value for them. All right, we have an international friendly today. Um, USA Serbia. Um, in men's, um, obviously some turmoil going on with Team USA right now. Um We're minus 165. Serbia is plus 420. The draw is plus 270. Um, I'm going to go over two and a half goals at minus 112 as my pick. Um, and now I'm just going to do a double check and make sure um, we got through all the notable soccer. Um, Italian Serie A, a result, Lazio over Milan, 4-0. Um, so that's it among the soccer for today. Now I'll move on to golf. Um, we have the Farmers Insurance Open. I have a pick for you guys, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm going to go through the tee times first. 12 o'clock, we have... Stefan Yeager, Adam Shank, Doug Gim, Austin Smotherman, uh, Brandon Haas, Alex Baddeley, Rory Sabatini, Rory Palmer, or Ryan Palmer, um, Ben Martin, Scott Brown, Will McGirt, 12-10, Matthew Neesmith, Sam Ryder, Hank Lebiota, Lucas Hodges, Kevin Tway, Bayo Hossler, Maverick McNeely, Dylan Fertelli, James Hahn, 12-20, Sebastian Munoz, Trey Molinax, Cam Champ, C. Thiglia, Adam Spebson, Michael Thompson, J.B. Holmes, Luke Lewis, Jason Day, Harry English, Kali Morikawa. Oh, no, Morikawa is actually 12-30. Um, with Henrik Norlander, Will Zalator, Stock Redmond, Taylor Moore, Tyler Duncan, Hayden Buckley, Max Holman, Martin Laird, Jason Bird, Scott Stallings. 12-40. Nate Hardy, JJ Spons, Ender Shoffley, um, Scott Stevens, Sanghun Kim, um, Hideki Matsuyama, twelve fifty. We got Davis Riley, Victor Norman, Ben Griffin, Andy Eckroat, Harry Endicott, Kyle Stanley. One o'clock, you have um, Eric Cole, Robbie Shelton, Will Gordon, Patrick Knowles. Um, one ten, Alex Molly, Patrick Rogers, Nate Watney, Jason Duffner, Adam Hadwin, Dylan Lingmurth, Taylor Montgomery, Adam Long, Peter Molnati. Actually, Montgomery's in the one twenty slate. That's my mistake. Um, Callum Tarrin, Bryce Garnett, Ricky Fowler, Justin Rose, Camilo Vegas. Um, Jonathan Vegas, um, Matt Trainer, Brian Stewart, Sodi Kodiara, 130, Saibu Kim, Richie Wierenski, Grayson Higo, Sun JM, um, Kevin Strillman, Lucas Griffin, Gary Woodland, Sam Piercy, Joachim Herman, Keegan Bradley, Robert Streb, 140, John Ron, Patton Kazir, Justin Lauer, Aaron Ray, Kurt Katayama, Justin Thomas, Wyndham Clark, Tony Finau, Austin Cook, 150, um, Michael Gilgic, um, Ben Grant, Ben Taylor, um, Ryan Moore, Danny Lee, Joseph Brumlett, Emiliano Grio, 2 o'clock, MJ Dauphay, Scott Harrington, Cam Young, Harry Higgs, Davis Thompson, and that's it among notables. All right, so my pick for the Farmers Insurance Open. I think 
that um this is um somebody that has had a good record at uh, this course um I think that this golfer is poised for a big weekend. And at 22 to 1, my pick to win this tournament. I'm going to half unit on it. Jason Day. The 22 to 1. To win the Farmers Insurance Open. Alright, now we'll go over the news and notes. For today. Um, we will start. In Major League Baseball. As. It was announced. Who. Um, had been elected into the Hall of Fame. And it's somebody that I find to be super controversial. And that individual... is Scott Rowland, seven-time All-Star third baseman with the Cardinals, Phillies, and Reds, the only new inductee into the Baseball Hall of Fame. I don't um, I don't think that Rowland should have been in. Um, I mean, that's, um, all due respect, he had a great career to me. He was an All-Star, but not Hall of Fame worthy. I think that there's some a lot of guys... Um, so, very um, crazy that he was the only one elected. I thought we were going to have multiple people. But no, just Scott Rowland for some reason. Um, also, baseball. Um, the 2024 ballot will feature Adrian Beltre, Chase Utley, Joe Mauer, and David Wright. And there's more, too. So, those are big names. That gonna be on the ballot next year. Gosh, I feel old. I remember when all those players were out there prime. Mike Clevenger under investigation as the league is looking into allegations of domestic violence and child abuse by Clevenger. Yikes. Um, there's this story's not gonna go away. So that is not great. Um the Red Sox acquire Raul Mondesi and the player to be named later for the Royals in exchange for Josh Taylor. Um, so, to me, Mondesi is just somebody that um, to me just um, is a backup at this point. He's like IKF on the Yankees. Just overhyped player in Mondesi's case. ICAF was never anything special. I mean, not that Mondesi um, was, but he was hyped up to be. And he never really panned out. Um, so, some basketball news. Um, the... NBA All-Star Draft will take place the same day as the All-Star Game, and the captains will pick live and in person, which is really cool. Um, a couple big-name players coming back. Um, Anthony Davis, barring any setback, will be back tonight against the Spurs, and Brandon Ingram will be back. After two months against the Timberwolves after the big toe injury. Um, Danny Green will be back soon. Um, he plans to play February 1st against Portland after turning his ACL and LCL eight months ago. 
That was a quick recovery. Steven Adams out of three to five weeks with the PCL strain. That's not good for Memphis. Um, Kevin Durant out at least two more weeks. As he'll begin running on court activities this week as he recovers from his MCL sprain. The Clippers are eyeing Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Vliet. And they also are looking at Knicks big man Isaiah Hartenstein to address lack of depth behind Zubac. There is no short of if external interest in Mike Conley and Malik Beasley. Um, Lori Marketing and Walker Kessler are untouchable. Kuzma opened the saying in D.C. Um, as he called the trade rumors white noise and can 100% see himself staying in Washington long term. Mo Bomb was available at the deadline. Um, since his time in the rotation has dwindled, that's not surprising. Um, the Clippers are not trading Terrence Mann. Um, they really like that kid. Um, the Wizards turned down a three-team trade with the Bucks that um, would have sent Rui to Phoenix. I think that Jay Crowder would have been in that deal too. Maybe a missed opportunity there for the Suns. Um, some football stuff. The award finalists have been announced. Um, MVP finalists Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. That comes to no surprise. Comeback player of the year, Saquon Barkley and Christian McCaffrey. And another MVP finalists are Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, and Justin Jefferson. Um, I think four of those guys belong and one doesn't. The one that doesn't belong is Josh Allen. Offensive player of the year, Mahomes, Hurts, Jefferson, and Hill. I think Jefferson's going to run away with that. Defensive player of the year, Nick Bosa, Chris Jones, and Micah Parsons. Comeback player of the year, Saquon Barkley, Christian McCaffrey, and Geno Smith. Coach of the year, Brian Dayball, Doug Peterson, and Kyle Shanahan. Assistant coach of the year, Ben Johnson, D'Amico Ryans, and Shane Steichen. Offensive rookie of the year, Brock Purdy, Kenneth Walker, Garrett Wilson. I can't believe Purdy's in there. Holy crap. I think Garrett Wilson will probably win, but Walker and Purdy were both in the playoffs, and Purdy's still in it. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Sauce Gardner, Aiden Hutchinson, and Tariq Woolen. So those are your award finalists. Um, Jeff Saturday's getting a second interview. Yikes. Oh, my God. What a shit show if they hire him. And speaking of the Colts, Aaron Rodgers is linked to the Colts. As they say the Colts could be a potential trade destination if Green Bay parts ways. The Cardinals may trade DeAndre Hopkins and potential suitors for him. The Patriots and the Ravens. Another team I would throw in there is the Giants, who really need a wide receiver. Um, the Rams like to trade Jalen Ramsey, potentially. That would be wild. They might have to blow that team up. Saquon Barkley won $16 million a year as he's seeking a contract similar to Christian McCaffrey's after declining the Giants' $12 million a year offer. Hmm. Um, well, they probably gave him twelve because he hasn't stayed healthy a lot. So, of course, this Saquon's asking for CFC money, and guess who else hasn't stayed healthy? CMC. Tony Pollard has leg surgery and is expected to be ready for training camp after uh, surgery to repair the broken fibula. So um, we'll see what happens to him in terms of free agency. If I'm the Cowboys, I franchise tag him. If not, um, uh, then that's not great. All right, best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. I have a lot of options. There's a lot in the running for best bet. I'm going to lay a unit. Um, I just want to make sure something real quick before I make this pick because 
I'm so stunned about how the line is. Um. So. Um. He just came back from an injury. Which makes me nervous. The, the star player of whose team I want to pick tonight. So I'm just going to make sure. If he's questionable. I'm going to avoid that particular pick. For best bets. Oh he's not questionable. I'm doing it. But the star player on the other team. That I consider for best bet is questionable. So I'm not going to go with that team. The star whose team I'm going to go with is Nikola Jokic. It looks like he will play. So I'm going to take Denver plus the 8 at Milwaukee. I'm stunned at it. It's that low. I love it. So I'm going to lay... Or I'm sorry, I'm going to take Denver plus the 8 at the box as my best bet of the day after yesterday's best bet. Lost for only the second time in 2023. That's it for the show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything, looking ahead to everything tomorrow. Obviously, news and notes and best bet, too. Have a great day, everyone.